So this is what we woke up to. Um, most of it is melted on the hard surfaces. But the trees look beautiful. And Rowdy is in heaven. He will not come in the house. He loves this. There's still a lot of it on the, our bridge. So I will not be getting into the garage that way. However, I will not be needing to use my garage. Let me show you what we woke up to in the front yard. So we also woke up to this. This is my beautiful mountain laurel. Well, half of it is still here. Kind of. Hopefully. But we are stuck in the house. That's like my least concern. Um, it's still stuck to the tree. Like, it, it didn't just snap off, which then I would have dragged it away. It's still technically in there. It just sort of leaned over. Is it too much of a desperate hope to hope that once this, I can get all the snow off or once it melts, come on, hurry up and melt, that I can just like pull it up and secure it with ropes and bring it back to life? Come on, I planted this tree myself. I dug this hole. It was the height of this little hummingbird feeder when I planted it 15 years ago. And now it's very tall. Oh, this is breaking my heart. Come on, tree. Snap back. Michael's like, it'll just bounce right back up. I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. But I hope so. But the other problem is, of course, that I cannot get out of the driveway. Yeah. I mean, no, I'm not driving on this. Mm -mm. Now it's all melting. I don't know if you can hear it or see it. It's so loud. Luckily, well, it might freeze again is what I'm worried about tonight. So, it's kind of pretty. It's so pretty though. It's like, it's magical. Ooh, really stressing out about the tree in the front though. Like in, a, in, in an unusually careful, ridiculous way. I'm really sad about that tree. <sighs> well, see what happens. I'll keep you guys posted. Where's my phone? Rowdy's like gone through here like a tornado. He's so excited. So excited about, well, this snow thing. He just tick, he's so happy. All right, I'm documenting this for Michael as much as for you all and myself. It filled up the back of this trailer. All the bits and pieces right there. That's just half the tree. Um, I'll try to get a, like a photo to show you what's left of the tree. But Michael's suggestion was just drive over it or just get Shane and move it aside. Yeah, I don't think so. Not gonna happen, babe. All right, I forgot to mention that, of course, all this stuff happens when Michael's out of town. Michael just, we drove up to Austin the other day to, um, Michael caught a direct flight to Memphis, which is the nearest airport to Ole Miss because he is driving back with Jake um, for winter break. Jake's bringing his car home. And he flew Thursday because the airline that only that flies direct from Austin to Memphis only flies out on Thursdays and Sundays. So he's just chilling there today. He's taking Jake and his girlfriend out to lunch, I think at this moment. And then they're gonna drive back tomorrow because Jake just finished up with his final. Why are they not fly driving t tonight? I don't know, whatever, it's fine. So that's that. Didn't really want to like broadcast to the world. Hey, husband's out of town for a few days. So anyway, the doorbell just rang and um, Flower Beauty reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in trying some of their new lip products. And I said, yes, that would be awesome. You guys actually make one of my all time favorite eyeshadow palettes and highlighter palettes. And this giant box just showed up from FedEx. I also watched him drop it on the ground, the FedEx guy, on my ring camera. So hopefully whatever's in that box is not shattered into a million pieces. So let's open the box and find out what it is. Yay! Check this out. So drawer number one is, these are her new matte lipsticks. And then according to the literature here, um, this is the mix and matte duo here, these six. 
which are, it has velvet matte lipstick on one shade and pearlized lip gloss on the other. Did I say lip shade? Creamy velvet matte lipstick and then gloss. Very nice. I mean, oh, these colors. This one and this one. I'm really intrigued by this red. We might have to do some swatching. Just hang on for a moment. Um, and then this drawer, and then this drawer is appears to be the entire Flower Beauty lipstick collection of Petal Pout lip color and all eight of their lip liners. I know you can order them at flowerbeauty.com. It is my understanding that you can still get everything at Walmart too. So I will I will be doing some swatching shortly. Not here, but this is I love Flower Beauty. I do. In a strange, totally unplanned coincidence, I'm actually wearing the palette I love. It's the Flower Beauty Golden Natural or Neutral? Warm Golden Natural? I will put the... you think by now I'd know the name of the freaking... It's the long eyeshadow palette and it's the Warm Golden and then it's either Natural or Neutral Shadow Palette. It's my all-time favorite drugstore palette. That's what I'm wearing in my eyes today. How funny is that? And then this shows up from Flower Beauty. Also, there are three highlighter palette, the rose gold, the gold, no, it's more like champagne, pink, and gold, if you can get your hands on those highlighters. So creamy, so beautiful. I love those too. Which one, to, I'm really intrigued by this red, not gonna lie. It's a pretty red. It's very creamy, it doesn't feel matte. Huh, okay then, I'm gonna take this off. If it's pretty as it is, this is not what I wanted to wear. I'm not wearing it, I'm just, I gotta, I'm going out later. I'm going to like a spa party thing for my friend Layla. Actually, it's not for her. She's throwing it at a thing in the historic pearl. I'm going down there. May get some little Botox. We'll see. Um, and this is not the outfit I had planned. I'm also wearing sweatpants, thermal socks, and Uggs. It's really cute, and it, but it's warm. But this lipstick makes it all better, right? That's without a lip liner and not really a mirror. Hmm. Not bad. So I am uh, down at the Pearl. Look who I found. Hey. It's Layla again. I'm like, you're stalker. No. No, I'm like, I stalk you. It's like, I walk in and she's got a needle on her hand. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey, I'm ready. This is some spread. This is very holiday. It's the Tim, Tim the Girl catered it. Oh. It's called the Good Kind. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I've heard of that. Isn't it pretty? I, I want to eat it, but I don't want to mess it up. Know, it's really it's so pretty. pretty. I love it. This is a really pretty spa. We're at the Splendid Spa, Skin Spa, at the Pearl. I'll go over their heads. Is this the brows? Oh, oh. Yeah, we're not going to talk about my brows. They're just here. She's amazing at it. Yeah. Oh, and the Valley Spa candles. Cute yeah. stuff. So I heard they make an amber scent that's supposed to be really good, but I haven't seen it. I need to do some smelling. Cinnamon? All right, I love this gift Botox. That's a heck of a gift. I know. It's a All right, let's play around. So this turned out to be just not as interesting a day as I had hoped. I had originally had a brunch planned with some friends, but the tree uh, situation and the storm, the snowstorm, delayed school for a different district for the other person we were meeting so that didn't happen and anyway I think instead of having like a five minute vlog I'm just gonna now insert a quick little tutorial so if you don't want to watch um a quick little drugstore tutorial then skip out and have a lovely day Thanks for watching. But if you want a little bonus drugstore tutorial, it's been a way that I've been doing my eye makeup quite a bit the last, I'd say, six weeks or so. I don't know that I'm going to use the, yeah, it's the L'Oreal Foundation. You know what? Just keep watching. Everyone else, I uh, love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Hey, guys. I'm trying something very new and weird. I am actually doing an Instagram Live right now, which is just off camera, and we've been chit-chatting while I got my foundation and concealer on. And now I am going to film the rest of my face. Um, they're over there, you're over here, the mirror's over there, and I'll be also looking at their comments, so just bear with me. Um, because I wanted to talk about this, this. This is the NYX Three Steps to Sculpt. I talked, I used this a lot I think in October, November, and I never really, I kept meaning to do a video all about it and show you how I use it, and I never did. 
So let me show you how I use it. So it comes in different shades and to be fully transparent as I like to be, as I like literally am, my skin is transparent, but no. I mean it in a different sense of the word. Um, NYX did send me a bunch of products and this was one of them. They come in fair, light, medium, and maybe dark. Isn't this weird? It is weird, okay. Um, I'm talking to them again. Let's just say that whenever I look over there, I'm talking to them. <laughs> Who are also probably gonna be here at some point. So this is in the fair um, shade and it comes with like a matte, satin matte, um, like skin tone basically, a little lighter than skin tone, a shimmery highlighter, and then like a contour shade. So um, I like to use them, I like to multitask. I think this is only meant for the face, but I like to get a lot of use out of them. So even though I already set my under eyes, let's pretend I didn't, and I'm using this light matte shade with a fluffy brush um, just to set. And, and highlight, I guess it highlights too, because it, it is lighter technically, I'm not this, nobody, I shouldn't say nobody, but I am not actually this color. So there's that. Okay, we've done that. I, you could set your whole face with it. I'm, I'm not, I'm gonna go completely other direction in, um, I am in a better mood guys, thank you for asking, in price point and set the rest of my face with my Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder, which look, I've already hit pan, I've had this like a month. So either they don't give you a lot of product or I've been using a, a lot of it and um, even though I should be slightly annoyed that I've already hit pan on this, which I am, um, I love the product so much I will repurchase because it's kind of amazing and it's really good. But you know what else is really good actually? Now that I say that, I put it away. The Cody Airspun powder is still an amazing, it's an amazing powder. All right, I've got my contour brush and it's the Sephora Pro Airbrush Blush Brush in number 54, and I haven't seen it on the website, so I don't know what's up with that. Um, I'm gonna just dip it in here. You know the drill with the contour, tilt your head down, suck in your cheeks, and as Charlotte Tilbury actually says, follow the hollow. So it's literally, like you can see when I suck in where the cheekbones are, or where they're supposed to be anyway. So just a little bit here. It's not like a ton. A little bit there, I went a little crazy. Don't worry, we shall blend. And then let's, let's give me a more firm jawline. Now let's go with my um, favorite, one of my favorite drugstore bronzer, one of my favorite all-time bronzers, Physician's Formula. And I do the bronzer after I do the um, contour so I can blend this out. I cheat. So, <laughs> On to the highlighting portion of this. This is a highlighter. It's not an in-your-face kind of highlighter. It's very wearable for the day. Um, so, I mean, it's really not a lot, but I like it. I mean, sometimes you just don't wanna have cheekbones from space. Yes, remember this? This is a favorite. The NYX Duochrome. This is in the shade Crushed Bloom. And um, I like it, obviously. It was in my favorites. It's like a flushed, kind of muted red. All right, blush is on. Let's get to eyes. I am going to prime my eyes with my favorite Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. And there is no shade, so let's get that on. Uh, I do want to point out a drugstore alternative that I've been using kind of back and forth that I'm, I won't lie, it doesn't have the staying power of the benefit pencils, but it's the shades are nice. Well, there's only three. Um, but the sh if you're blonde, I like the shade. It's the Eyelure Brow Pencil number 30 Blonde. And I like that it comes with a spoolie on one end and the um, pencil on the other. You do have to sharpen it, unlike the Benefit ones. Um, so, but it's very budget friendly. And you know, if that's something you're looking for, then I think you'll like this. It just doesn't have the wear time. It's a little bit softer than the Benefit ones. So, all right, I'm gonna draw these on and be right back. All right, brows are on, except they're not completely on, kind of forgot. You know, there are other brow gels out there that I like, but I always come back to the NYX brow gel. It's my favorite. It's just really good and really cheap. So it's kind of hard to come up with a reason to use something else. Okay, now let's do brows. I am actually, gonna start with 
this in the crease and see how that goes. This is a very, like, I mean, I guess you could get it dramatic if you really want to build it up, but let's zoom in a little bit. So we're just doing the matte bronzer contour shade in the crease. This is, you know, kind of like one, two, three, easy peasy. Okay, so I just took like an E40, yeah, big blending brush, like a MAC 224, and I'm just smacking that around. And it's a really soft face powder, so the reality is it blends really easily. Um, there's not a lot of extra blending that's necessary, but let's face it, blending is not one of my best skills, so I do like to go over it a little bit. And if you really want to make sure it's well blended out, um, take the light shade here. This is like five minute makeup if I wasn't chatting to two different audiences. Okay, and then the last step is you take the sparkly shade and you take a flat shader brush, in this case the MAC 239, and you just pat it all over the eye lid. That's it guys. That is my I can't really see in the tiny viewfinder. That is my kind of go-to five minute. Went a little outside the lens there, hang on. There we go. Five minute makeup look. And then if I'm feeling really together, um, take the matte shade on a pencil brush and run it under the eye. Take like a little cheapy foam brush and just stick that, um, Highlighter in the corner, and there you go. Like, that is so easy for during the day. Now, this is the weird part where it's, you're like, Marnie, seriously. If you want to kick it up a notch, I take my Chanel Convoitise um, cream shadow and, and just put it right on top for even more golden shimmer, but obviously, that sort of defeats the purpose of having an inexpensive eye look. Then just eyeliner. It's my CoverGirl Queen collection in truffle just dragging it on i hold it sideways it's easier to control that way i'm just gonna curl my lashes and then slap on some mascara hang on okay so for the purposes of keeping this relatively budget friendly even though i used like a 70 dollars concealer we're not gonna talk about it um i do like this the voluminous lash paradise i do like it i don't love it as much as other ones but it is my favorite drugstore one how about that so i'm just gonna slap this on and maybe a little lip gloss, and we're going to call it a day. So I hope that you enjoyed the vlog footage. I hope you like this kind of impromptu tutorial at the end, and I hope you keep watching Vlogmas. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.